Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. If you guys are new here, my name is Tiffany and I record videos all about makeup, beauty, and anything that has to do with my day-to-day -day life. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel and click on that bell button to stay notified whenever I post another video. But yeah, let's get into what today's video is all about. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite me time activity. So I'm going to be showing you guys what I like to do when I'm by myself self on my days off what I like to do when I relax and just unwind so I'm gonna be showing you guys just that so if you guys are interested in seeing what I like to do as my favorite me time activity then just stay tuned all right you guys so the first thing I like to do when I'm by myself and to just unwind and kind of pamper myself is apply a hot oil treatment or like a deep conditioning mask on my hair and I really really love doing this I do it at least once a week and for me it's really helpful especially because I've been dyeing my hair a lot and well not a lot but just like recently the fact that i went blonde it's just been really really damaging to my hair so i've really been loving doing at least one hot oil or deep conditioning treatment a week so i'm gonna show you guys exactly how i do that later on in the video you'll see i'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit more so you guys can see exactly like my process and exactly how i mix everything so i'm just gonna go over the products with you really quick because i do use about six different hair oils and a deep conditioning mask so i use a lot of products in my hair and i know it sounds really excessive but i really really like how my hair comes out after and i feel like it's really getting stronger and thicker and so i'm gonna keep doing what i'm doing but yeah guys i'm not a hairstylist or anything so if your hair falls off don't blame me <laughs> i'm just kidding but it works for me so I'm just gonna show you guys the products that I'm using. So the first one is the Do Grow Mega Thick Formula Hair Oil, and I mentioned this in my January favorites, and this is a really, really great product. Um, it really helps with promoting thick, strong, healthy hair. It has um, vitamin and botanical thickeners, tames frizz, adds shine, helps reduce breakage, allowing hair to grow longer. So I really, really like this one, so I apply this in there. I have some Jamaican Black Cash oil this is the extra dark one so this deep conditions makes hair stronger seals moisture um and yeah i really 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 like that one i also use a vitamin e oil this is good for like um keeping your hair not being too dry so it adds moisture to your hair and just makes it you know stronger i also use peppermint oil which adds shine and gloss it also has omega-3 fatty acids vitamin a and vitamin c and it moisturizes your hair and your scalp so this is bomb all of these products i'm not gonna lie i got them at sally's except for the do grow hair oil this one i got at walmart but I think they sell this one at Sally's too. I'm not quite sure. But I did the purchase this one at Walmart. Everything else I'm mentioning, I literally got at Sally's. All right, the next two oils are from Hair Chemist. And the first one is the Strengthen Hair Oil with Castor Oil. And this helps nourish the scalp and strengthen the roots while adding a healthy reflective shine. And then this one is the Revitalized Hair Oil, which has macadamia oil. It adds shine and rejuvenates hair, helping to prevent brittle strands. So i've been liking the both of these again i've got all of these products at sally's beauty supply and i've been absolutely absolutely loving it so yeah and then the deep conditioning mask that i'm going to be using is the coconut oil um deep conditioning protein mask and this one i got from sally's as well i know that they sell this at walmart because i've seen it before um but i did get this one at sally's so this is the coconut oil deep conditioning protein pack it's good for dry, damaged, or color-treated hair. And I really like this one. Coconut oil is supposedly one of the best oils that penetrates your hair. So this one's really good. It has coconut oil, manila oil, keratin protein, silk protein, and coconut milk. So it's a big concoction of hair products. And my hair just looks amazing after it. So yeah, I'm going to zoom you guys in and show you guys exactly how I mix my hair oils and how I heat it up and everything because I am going to be doing a hot treatment. I'm going to be mixing the coconut oil and the oils together and it's going to be like a hot oil deep conditioning treatment. You guys will see. 
but yeah let me just zoom you guys in all right you guys so to pour the oils i'm gonna pour them in this really cute little bottle that i got at sally's and it has a really nice little fine tip and that's really helpful when applying it to the scalp so what i'm gonna do is just take that top off i'm gonna start by pouring the revitalized hair oil by hair chemist and I'm just gonna pour about four seconds of this oil into the bottle. So I just count just four seconds. So one, two, three, four, done. And then I move on to the next oil. And I count about four seconds every oil that I put in. So the next one I'm going in with is the Strengthen Hair Oil from Hair Chemist as well. And I'm gonna count about four seconds of this one two three four the next oil i'll be going in with is the do grow mega thick formula hair oil and again about another four seconds about this I'm gonna go in with my mango and lime Jamaican black castor oil and this is the extra dark one which I like the extra dark one over the original just because I feel like it works a little better that's just my preference you can use anyone but again another four seconds then I'm gonna go in with my Hollywood Beauty vitamin E oil and again, four seconds of this. And then the last oil that I'm going to apply in there is the Hollywood Beauty Peppermint Oil. And this feels so good on the scalp, you guys. It feels so tingling and refreshing. So I'm going to do four seconds of this. All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna go in with the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula. This is the Coconut Oil Deep Conditioning Protein Pack, and this has the vitamin E, which I really, really like, and it also has the Advanced Formula with Manoa Oil, which I also really, really like for dry hair. So what I'm gonna do is just apply this right into the bottle with that oil as well. So I'm just going to rip this packet open, and I'm going to pour this not sure how well I'm gonna angle this in there but I'm just going to pour this as best as I can all right you guys so now I'm just gonna take the top that comes with it and I'm gonna screw that on and then I'm going to put my finger around here at the top to make sure to hold that little hole closed. And then I'm just going to shake it. And you're gonna end up with something like this. And you're gonna end up with something like this. It looks really, really nasty, but it's some um, good protein for your hair. It's good, healthy oils. So now what I'm gonna do is take this, and it's a little ratchet. Don't judge me. It's the only container I have that can fit this in there. So what I do is take steaming hot water. All right, and to do the hot oil treatment, you're just going to dip the bottle of hair oils and conditioner in there. And I'm just gonna let it sit for about five minutes or so to get nice and warm. The reason that I like doing hot oil treatments is because it does penetrate your hair a lot quicker and a lot more effectively because the heat allows your hair strands to actually open up, the hair follicle to open up, and it actually penetrates in there, adding the shine and all of that goodness that concoction that we created it actually allows it to penetrate into your hair so that's why I like to heat it up so I am gonna leave it in here for about five minutes or so just to get all that heat and then we'll be right back all right you guys so two really big tips when it comes to doing hot oil treatments number one is that you want to make sure to never microwave the hot oil or the oil to make it hot you never want to microwave the oil it basically just strips it away from all of the nutrients in there and it ends up just burning the oil same thing as if you were to put it in like a pot and put it on the stove it's gonna burn it as well trust me I've learned from experience so what I've learned to do is you want to put it in hot water so what I like to do is heat some water up in a cup as I showed you and I just stick the bottle in there that way 
the oil gets the heat and the temperature it needs to get without actually burning it. All right, so tip number two is to make sure to not heat up the oil too much. If you overheat the oil, it's basically just gonna fry your hair just like oil does. Oil has its natural tendencies for when it gets hot to burn things and just damage things and fry things. So you do not want to overheat the oil. That's why I say it's safer to put it in water. Even though if you pour it into like super, super hot boiling water and you leave it in there for too long, the oil can still overheat. So you just want to keep your eye on it. I keep my maximum, like the maximum that I keep the bottle in there is for about five minutes. That's the time that I've realized it, it's enough time for the mixture to get warm, but it doesn't overheat. So I keep it to five minutes and I haven't had a problem. But those are the two major tips when it comes to hot oil treatments. All right, so now that it's been about five minutes, my oil is pretty much done. As you can see, it started to you know get really liquidy. So this is about the time I like to put it in my hair. So what I'm gonna do, I already brushed out my hair and it's looking a mess, but I'm just gonna take it out of this ponytail here. And today was wash day. As you can see, my hair was oily anyways. The natural oils were already starting to weigh it down. So I already brushed out my hair. I'm going to go through it really quick again just to make sure that for the most part it's not free. And then I'm going to show you guys how I pour this hot oil into my hair. And I do divide my hair into sections. It just makes it a little bit easier when it comes to applying the oil. So what I like to do, I like to section my hair in thirds. So the first one is right here where my ear is. The second one is right here where my eyebrows is. So that's one section, the middle section, and then the top section. So what I'm going to do is grab right here where my ears are. And then the rest of my hair at the top, I'm just going to go ahead and like section that away and put it in like a little bun because I don't have a clip all right you guys so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take the bottle that I have here and I'm just going to start by taking the tip of this and applying it onto um, my scalp and I'm just gonna kind of like scratch my head with it I don't really know how to describe this but I'm squeezing the bottle as I'm moving the bottle side to side and that's just ensuring that it's really getting there into my scalp um, this is very similar to the bottle that they use when you dye your hair like in box dye this is very similar um, to that bottle so if you guys know what I'm talking about then you guys you guys know what I'm talking about but basically I'm just putting this onto my scalp and then with my hand I'm going back in there and massaging that in and I do start with putting this on my scalp and then I run it down to the strands of my hair so as you're gonna see now over here I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this onto my hair All right, so I typically apply hot oil treatments to my hair when my hair is damp because I normally like rinse it first, but I'm not gonna lie, today your girl was kind of lazy. So I'm gonna go in with my little spray bottle that I have here. And now that I put the conditioner all over my hair, I'm gonna go in and just spritz my hair and make sure that it's kind of not dripping wet, but like damp enough to soak in the product. And then just massage that in. All right, and now that I have that section done, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the other one.
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to my second favorite thing I love to do just for my me time and just to pamper myself, and that is applying a facial mask. And I am, as you can see, I'm a hair, I'm a mask junkie, hair mask, face mask, every kind of mask. I love masks. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is apply my face mask, and I'm going to be using a combination of two face masks today. Both of these are from Artistry Signature Select Collection, and the first one I'm going to be using is the Purifying Mask to get rid of any um, impurities and any blackness that I may have. The second one I'm going to be using is the brightening mask for the areas of my face that I feel I need to brighten a little bit more or that have gotten darker, you know, with the time. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is use this really cute Vasanti brush that I have. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start by applying the brightening mask and this one smells really, really good. I love the way this one smells and it's just a cute little white face mask. So what I'm going to do is take my little brush and dip it here into the product. This is a clean brush, by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and dip it here into the face mask. All right, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is apply this to the areas that I feel need to be brightened a little bit more on my face. So the first place that I feel needs to be brightened is right here, this section around my eyes. I feel like it's just been really dark lately. I haven't been getting much sleep. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this right over here to brighten that area. And I'm also gonna go ahead and apply this to my chin because I feel like around my chin has been looking really, really dark too. So I'm just gonna apply this to my chin. All right, <laughs> I look so funny right now. But all right, now that I have that applied, I'm gonna go in with the purifying mask. And this one, this one smells really, really good too. And this is just a little yellow mask. This one helps with impurities and such. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the problem areas and where I've been getting, you know, a couple pimples here and there. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this onto my forehead because I've been getting a couple little friends here that I wouldn't call them friends but if you're not nice to them they come again so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this to my forehead I'm also gonna bring it down around here because I do get some on the sides of like my forehead around here I'm gonna bring it down the center of my nose And I'm going to apply this all around my nose. This is also going to help with any um, blackheads that you may have. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this around my nose. And then right down here because I've been also getting a lot of acne in this area. So just going to apply this over here. And this is what you call multi-masking at its finest. <laughs> I look ridiculous right now, but it's all right. It's all for you guys. And again, this is what I do when I'm by myself, when no one's with me, just to pamper myself and relax. So yes, I do look crazy, but it's okay. You know, I don't mind it. So 
All right, you guys, so now that I have my face mask put on, I am gonna leave that on there for about 10 minutes before I decide to rinse it out. And as I stated with my hair mask, I am gonna leave that in for about 10 to 20 minutes. So typically what I like to do while my hair mask is in my hair, soaking up all those good nutrients, and while my face mask is on, I typically like to walk over to the kitchen and brew myself a really nice hot cup of coffee. And I just feel like this is the perfect treat to indulge and to just unwind and lay back and just relax and this is the best part of my routine I love sipping on a hot cup of coffee and so what I typically do is just brew myself a cup of coffee and then I'm usually scrolling through YouTube um, looking for other video ideas and inspiration and also for social media just to find what other content I can create and provide to you guys so yeah you guys that is typically what i do on my days off all right you guys so as you guys can see i have already taken a shower and i rinsed off my face mask and my hair mask and this is what my hair looks after i get out the shower and do that treatment i know you guys can't see too too much of my hair because it still is you know really really wet but you guys, I freaking love this hot oil treatment that I've been doing. I do it at least once a week and it literally works miracles on my hair. The next day, it just feels so much stronger and I notice a lot less breakage, a lot less split ends, and it's just not as frizzy and like dull. It actually has life and it's shiny and it just feels good and strong. So I'm really, really happy that I, I've been able to narrow down a good hot oil treatment that has been working for my hair. But yeah, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. This does complete my favorite me time activity. I know that there were three activities instead of one, but what can I say? I'm a girl and I just like to pamper myself and, you know, treat myself and invest back into myself because what the heck we all should we work so hard and we always have to remember to take some time some rest and relaxation to invest into ourselves if it's a day you know an hour a couple minutes just to invest back into ourselves and treat ourselves and pamper ourselves the way we should be treated because we have to remember we can't give if we don't have so we have to start with us you guys and so these are the little things I like to do when I have just a little bit of time to myself all right you guys so don't forget to comment down below letting me know what your favorite means time activity is and what you guys choose to do when you have the time to yourself also don't forget to comment down below any other videos that you guys would like to see from me if you haven't already give this video a huge 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 thumbs up and again thank you guys so much for watching my video and i'll definitely see you in the next one bye guys